Uh, I will not leave the great profile from 1940 starring John Barry, Barrymore as himself. This is a pretty weird movie, movie because John Barrymore is an actor. He, he usually plays character, but this time he, he was himself. So, we got the camera on opera stage and it followed John Barrymore who was usually drunk and So called this movie even to be internet it's John Barrymore movie where he plays himself and very well, well made movie in other words but In some part reason I didn't like this movie much because it was too obvious because John Barrymore playing himself that was that was the easy, easiest thing to do because we have to pretend that he's strong and that he's bad actor stuff like that when he's strong. But still I like it in other words that we saw we saw John Barrymore in this movie uh, and, and I'm a John Barrymore fan so I'm going to give this movie 7 out of 10 because not the best movies out there. Mm. Cheesy as hell and well called this movie even to be John Barrymore. This movie is for the hardcore sort of John Barrymore fans because we see the, re we, we see the real side of him and they got some popular actors in this movie, I don't remember then their names, but besides some Barrymore, there were so many actors in this movie and <coughs> so God's this movie, even to be entered 7 out of 10 the great profile from 1940 I'm a huge son Barrymore fan, fan. He, he was in Dr. Sequel and Mr. Hart from 1920 Grand Hotel from 1932 Almost forgot Sherlock Holmes in, from 1922 I have that on DVD uh, and this great for far as I saw on YouTube so so called see this movie for free in YouTube as of now but John Barrymore was born in 1982 and died in 1942 when he rest in peace he he was the actor of 1910s, 20s and 30s and even in the first half of the 40s. And John Barrymore's granddaughter, Drew Barrymore was in lots of movies in the modern times. And but John Barrymore himself was in the black and white movie with no sound. And Thirties came to sound and forties as well. So yeah, I'm a huge son Barry Morphan. I have Dr. Sequel and Mr. Hart from 1920 on DVD and Sherlock Holmes on 1924 on DVD and lots of other DVDs. But when we are talking about John Barry Morty movies are about 100 years old, so most are free in YouTube. And Back to this movie, 7 out of 10, I was kind of They were pretty lazy in this movie, I must say, because I didn't get the act, or, or they tried too much, I don't know what, but... Well, it's still 7 out of 10, so much to the cool set, and... Let's put it this way, way the, there were parts I liked and parts I didn't like. Seven out of ten, ten it's so, so much to the good set and I'm John Barrymore fan, maybe that saved the movie for me to give it, it, it seven out of ten, but still if you want to see a comedy, go to see this movie because, because you will like your socks off. But if you want a serious movie, don't watch this. This is far away of action movie, 
This was comedy about some Barrymore's life. Maybe the fact that I'm Schwarzenegger and Stallone fan, I didn't like drama movies, but 1940 when this came out, the drama movies on trending on top. So, nothing much to say. I'm a John Barrymore fan. 7 out of 10 this movie, but it's still one of the best ever. Even the some parts I didn't like, but there were parts I like it. And far away of 10 out of 10 masterpiece, okay, but.